I did something stupid again. Do you want to hear what I did? Hole in one! Wii Sports, the pinnacle of your childhood and where you peaked in high school. This game incites everything that you need in a video game. Hours and hours of fun replayable into infinity. So I'm gonna turn two of its most popular mini games into a VR game. And if that was not cool enough, I don't know what is. And today we're gonna to have to build the first one, bowling. Nice. The first thing we need to do is go over how the Wii U is actually going to run a VR game. It barely held together Nintendo fans, so how will it prevent me from gaining vertigo? This is a great question, viewer, and the answer is with math and physics. Not just any kind of math and physics, calculus. Now, of course, we could steal the code that we used the last time I attempted this. And while that's a great idea for time savings, I must admit that the drift I was getting last time was a no-go. I need a better way of inside-out tracking. Previously, I used the Wii U gamepad sensors to calculate where my head is at all times. However, I think I got my math wrong. The accelerometer, the gyroscope, and the magnetometer together offer us 9 degrees of freedom, and can track someone in 3D space accurately. By using this data for a VR headset, we can effectively create our own inside-out tracking system. No sensors, base stations, or futuristic mats connected using USB or whatever. Except, there's a reason that these things exist. They help make the tracking more accurate, especially when the programmer does not implement those sensors correctly. So back to our project, my implementation was a simplification of what should have happened. I now see that I need the full equation to have a better headset. I need to go split a piece of myself off to think about that math for a while. But what we can do is use my recently acquired thieving skills to steal and upgrade the Wii Sports models for bowling. This is a very complicated process called stealing. Now, the way I did this is it's an adventure of its own. So, basically, Nintendo locks down the use of the Miis, and this is for a whole list of reasons. And many of these have to do with how the Miis are rendered. It turns out that the Wii U stores the Miis in ROM, and only when you get access from Nintendo licensing do you actually get the ability to have an extension to your code that then renders the Miis for you. This is so convoluted that I don't even want to touch it. Maybe there is a way to reverse engineer it, maybe there's a way to get around it, but I think the easiest method is to just get models and a skeleton and do it the old-fashioned way, just like every other model in the game. However, what we can do is get that stuff back and get models and textures and rebuild the Miis ourselves. I found this repo on GitHub that actually let you decompile these things. And I spent the last couple of hours in Python refactoring and changing and ChatGPTing until I eventually got this. A full list of models and a full list of textures. And together, I get this blob in Blender. Now this may not seem like much, but this is actually how we are going to get our Miis. After spending way too long doing all of this, my separated self that was doing all that math came back with the milk, and they had everything I needed. The way that the sensors work is they take all of the fail-safes that the other ones don't have. For example, accelerometers can't measure certain things about rotation, and certain things about rotation just don't work when you try and translate them. And the gyroscope and the accelerometer and the magnetometer together cover each other's backs. And when you put it all together, you get one coherent system. I'm gonna be completely honest and say that I don't fully get it, but putting it together, we now have our updated code. Except that we need a small world to put this in along with the Miis we just found. Well, that's where the models resource comes back in. This is where I go to get my models. And if they don't have the models here, that's where I go and do all my crazy extractions of stuff. But the cool thing they do have is a bunch of Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort models. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bowling alley from this website, along with the boxing ring. We don't worry about that. That's just foreshadowing. With that, we're going to put that into Unity and create our split screen effect, along with our player from last time. Now, we have a fully functioning Unity game, except that we now need to test it. And while everything does load on the Wii U, we now need to figure out the headset. 
Last time, I 3D printed an extension to the Oculus Go that I chopped up, and then I sanded it down and I duct taped it together with wood glue and all of this craziness. And let's be honest here, it didn't really work. Now, I mean it did, but it didn't last long. As you can see here, it's falling apart at the seams. This is not good if we're trying to make this, well, good. And so the solution for me was to go on Amazon and buy the cheapest headset that I could find and once again duct tape the Wii U to it. And this time, it's actually a little bit better. A lot more cleaner, no more 3D printing, just something simple. Now I do have my new 3D printer, so like and subscribe if you want to see me try and build a real headset, but this is going to do for us now, and honestly, it's so much better than the previous solution. But enough yapping about this, let's try and actually see if my new and improved tracking works along with some me models inside of Unity. I loaded everything up onto the Wii U and launched the game. And it looks like my camera and my controller are both a little bit broken. And even when I try and throw the ball, it doesn't really do it correctly. It just sort of launches it in one direction. It doesn't really use physics. And that worries me a little bit. However, I think we can fix it. I went back into Unity and kind of got some of my older code, and it seemed to work better. However, I am using the, old, the code I rewrote for the camera, which is good. That means the headset is working. Now we gotta figure out how to make the bowling ball work like a bowling ball. What we want to happen is for the player to move their arm, and for us to track how fast the arm is moving. Then when they hit or release a button, we wanna give that same speed to the bowling ball, and also turn on other things like gravity and rotations and all that good stuff. If we can do that, we can basically simulate our own bowling ball. With some of this new code in place and with the camera working for once, we can actually try and get this to work. Part of that though is getting everything in the game along with like things like the UI or the bowling pins. While we are placing the bowling pins, we also need to go ahead and grab all of the me models that we had before. Now, I'm gonna have to build my own me maker before we can use them to their fullest, but at least we can use a head. You should like and subscribe if you want me to do that. That'd be a really fun little tiny project. Once we have all of that in place, we can actually go ahead and test the game with real people. He's coming in. He's coming in. He's terrorizing a child. Nerd! Like to their um, meetings and stuff. This is what actual like business class level people wear. You ready? <laughs> that won't go in. I swear. Don't worry. I'll. I'll... Oh, <laughs> this is really funny. So, I want to give you some backstory for this. I was introduced to this idea by someone at school, and they were like, "What if you just like did something real with it? Because you haven't done anything real with the VR thing." And like, you know what, that's fair. Cause I did Beat Saber, but the Beat Saber didn't really work. And that's what made me do the Guitar Hero video. So this is actually a game. It may not work too well. There are bowling pins, they're hard to see. Yeah. Once you, you should be facing the whiteboard and then I'll hand you the, the Wii remote. Uh oh. Heck yeah. All right. I'll pass you the Wii remote now. You might want to use your left hand because I'm a lefty and I'm uh, I'm here to force you. Cool. All right, so now here's the funny part. I coded it wrong. So you're gonna hold down the A button. Uh, the big, oh, yeah, that one. All right, hold it again. And then you see how it kind of shoots, but oh. it, it'll change with your velocity. So you're gonna hold it down, go backward, or yeah, swing backward with your arm. And then you're gonna swing forward and let go when you're pointing it forward. Yeah. Try again. It may have teleported through the floor. Yeah. Try like going straight out. Hey. There we go. And it didn't make And it stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you're not allowed to go any further. All right, you can just try again or or not. It's either way. It's really bad. It's so bad. Oh. 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 Oh, I got it. I got it. 
Yes. Rotate your body 15 degrees left. <laughs> I gotta go straight. That's not straight. Maybe, maybe rotate your arm the other way. Because it seems like you're drifting to the right when you throw it. Okay. <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. Oh, okay. Now I get the other direction. All right. All right. No, I'm still going that way. Go on. <laughs> we try to hit one pin. One I'm just pin. Destroying this alley. One pin. That's great. Yep. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. And then just move your arm faster when you do that. Okay, I gotta stay in this direction. I'm so oh. sorry. Please. Can I try something? Sure. Okay, just look forward. <laughs> oh, uh, you like it? I'm, uh, turn around. <laughs> what are we? All right, so that's pretty much it. Now, I would like to thank Tyler for actually helping me with that last little bit, but this was a fun little project. I built this in a, about a week. I did this instead of the GMTK Game Jam, which I've been game jammed out recently, so this was a nice little tiny project that I was able to kind of do. Is it broken? Of course it is, just like everything else. But hey, at least it kind of works. And I was able to kind of fix all of the camera issues, mainly kind of hopefully. So yeah, anyway. The next couple of projects are probably going to be more different, maybe a couple of Unity tutorials, maybe some different things, but I still want to do some of those cooler big projects down the line. So if you have any good ideas, throw them in the comments, yell at me, all that good stuff. I'm tired. Good night.